hi, how are you? You all right? Um, yeah, so I've been having trouble posting these things every day, but, um, or, yeah, so I'm here now to, um, read to you for Friday, March the 26th. Um, it's a very rainy day today. Um, my pain levels seem to be skyrocketing. It's wonderful. So this, I was just reading ahead a little, and it's talking about how God is making um, things that are not good in your life into something good. So let's read this, and um, I guess my pain is being used to um, for me to try to spread some sort of peace to others or, or something like that. Um, so here we go. Who likes the bunny ears? It's supposed to be the crazy bunny lady. So here, here we go again. <laughs> They're fun, right? Weird? Nuts? It's okay? Cool? Floppy bunny. <laughs> All right. So, today is from Isaiah 35, verse 10. Um, the story is called Slum Songs by Sheridan Voicey. Katura is a small slum in Paraguay, South America. Desperately poor, its villagers survive by recycling items from its rubbish dump. But from these unpromising conditions, something beautiful has emerged, an orchestra. With a violin costing more than a house in Katura, the orchestra had to get creative, casting its own instruments from their garbage supply. Violins are made from oil cans with bent forks as tailpieces. Saxophones have come from drain pipes with bottle tops for keys. Cellos are made from tin drums with gnocchi rollers for tuning pegs. Hearing Mozart played on these contraptions is a beautiful thing. The orchestra has gone on tour in many countries, lifting the sights of its young members. These ears, I don't know. Should I take them off? Hair is a mess, but that's okay. That's why that we have the red light to hide the imperfections, right? So it's spooky. Okay, let's put the ears back on. Because we're trying to make people smile here. Make you smile. Here we go. Where were we? Violins from landfills, music from slums. That's symbolic of what God does. For when the prophet Isaiah envisions God's new creation, a similar picture of beauty from poverty emerges. With barren lands bursting into blooming flowers, deserts flowing with streams, castaway war tools crafted into garden instruments, and impoverished people becoming whole to the sounds of joyful songs. The world sends us garbage, Kachura's orchestra director says. We send back music. And as they do, they give the world a glimpse of the future when God will wipe away the tears of every eye and poverty will be no more. Well, that would be really nice, wouldn't it? That would be so lovely. How have you seen God turn the garbage of your life into something beautiful? How might he wish to bring music out of your pain? So that's why I'm working on this channel to try and, and help bring some happiness to some people and some peace to you and teach you a little bit about God and how he can ease your stress in so many ways and bring 
goodness to the things that are not so good with you. Holy Spirit, turn the poverty in my life into something beautiful. And there it comes. Bunny lady. <laughs> Today's scripture from Isaiah 35. The desert and the parched land will be glad. The wilderness will rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it will burst into bloom. It will rejoice greatly and shout for joy. The glory of Lebanon will be given to it, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the feeble hands, steady the knees that give way. Say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance, with divine retribution. He will come to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then will the lame leap like a deer, and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become a pool, the thirsty ground bubbling springs. In the haunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and papyrus will grow. And a highway will be there. It will be called the Way of Holiness. It will be for those who walk on that way. The unclean will not journey on it. Wicked fools will not go about on it. No lion will be there, nor any ravenous beast. They will not be found there, but only the redeemed will walk there. And those the Lord has rescued will return. The lighting's very interesting. We have like this... Uh, curtain in the background it keeps blowing pretty cool right I should have that as a background all right quit fiddling farting there we go they will enter zion with singing everlasting joy will crown their heads Gladness and joy will overtake them, and sorrow and sighing will flee away. The insight. When we think of words like joy, gladness, and singing, the book of Psalms comes to mind. However, what we see in Isaiah 35 and the book as a whole enables us to see the labeling Isaiah as the prophet of praise isn't far-fetched. Isaiah 12, which includes two songs of praise, is another case in point. The prophet's worship-leading words include ex exhortations to sing to the Lord, for he has done glorious things, and shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you, by Arthur Jackson. And if you were doing the Bible of the year, today's readings are Joshua 22 to 24 and Luke 3. So that is the reading for today um, from the Daily Bread. I hope that you have a wonderful day. And just think about this and the things that are not good in your life and... Um, Pray to God, talk to God, tell him what's going on, and he will help. He will turn it into something wonderful. Okay? Okay. Bye. See ya.